Logic Zero example 26.2, a proof in one step with inverted premises. Okay, so when we do proofs, I'll ask you to complete the proof and I'll give you something that looks like this. And we have our premises here and then we're gonna try to get to the conclusion that's separated with a vertical bar after the last premise. And we can do this in one step uh, using the rule of disjunctive syllogism. So we're going to use this rule, disjunctive syllogism. And we're going to let uh, P equal a and q equal b so this is pretty straightforward that if we just substitute a and b for p and q we have a or b here and then we have not p oh that matches up with not a but notice how i the thing here is that although the rule has P or Q first, and then not P second. In this example, we have not A or not P first, and then A or B or P or Q second. You know, the ordering is different here, but that's okay. Uh, in these rules, the premises can, uh, can appear in any order. So the ordering of the premises is not significant. And so we can apply disjunctive syllogism here. And so for line three, we can conclude, for line three, we can conclude Uh, B. And notice, uh, I accidentally put a space in there. Notice that there are no spaces here. There's just a period, no space. Uh, so, you know, just like with truth tables, we're trying to eliminate spaces as much as possible. And here we're relying on lines one and two, and we list the line numbers in numerical order. So even though the rule has the premises in the opposite order. Um, we're just going to take them as they come. And when we justify the reason why we can write B on the third line, we're going to write the line numbers that we're referring to, and we're going to keep them in numerical order. Okay. And then we're going to say, uh, we can justify this from lines one and two using the rule of disjunctive syllogism. And we're using that abbreviation that is in parentheses here. All right. And then we close off the proof with the closing tag and then eliminate line breaks. And we have our answer string. 